All right, welcome back everybody, and we are going to do a pod review today on a pepper somewhere right down here, and where is it now? I know it's in here. Oh, we're going to do a, a pod review on this pepper right here, this golden thing you see down there. It's a small plant. I thought it was going to get bigger than that, but it turns out that it didn't, and so... We'll have to grow that in different areas. I am making notes of this, by the way, whether it's a big plant, small plant, so I know what not to mix up. Because you can see a lot of the bigger plants just crowded out. And when you grow the way I grow, you got to make sure you plan that stuff out in advance. All right, so let's pick one of these. And we'll tell you what it is. The leaf and everything. Okay, so this is it, and we got a bunch of them on there, but this is called the, I believe it's called short yellow, it's called the short yellow Tabasco pepper, now this is supposed to be a Tabasco pepper, I would imagine it's a capsicum frutescence in nature, so that, that should be what it is, now, it doesn't look too much like a Tabasco pepper, but then again, it doesn't really look like too many other peppers that I know of. So I would imagine it is probably a capsicum frutescence. And most of the fru capsicum frutescence that I know are all basically like bird peppers or Tabasco peppers. That's basically what they are. You'll never see a frutescence that's going to look like a bell pepper or a habanero or something. They're always small like this or bead pepper, like a little, little pearl, but they're mostly like this, they mostly look like that, so yeah, it's got to be a frutescence, I would imagine, so let's give you a better look at it, I'll try to give you good angles, I can't tell what's good sunlight, uh, it's dead, but that's what it looks like, and again, I don't know much about this pepper, but whatever information I do got, I will put in the description below, and uh, you can read about it there. All right, so let's turn you around and give that pepper a go. All right, guys, here we go. We're doing another pod review today. It's going to be on this pepper right here, and this is called the Short Yellow Tabasco Pepper. I think that's the name. The, the right name will be in the description and in the, um, you know, title and all that stuff and it'll also be on my website but that's it right there it's supposed to be a short little yellow tabasco pepper we'll find out if it is very shortly uh simply by the heat but tabascos have a unique flavor to them so it should taste like a tabasco pepper it's just a short yellow version all right so without any further ado let's give that one a go Wow, the top. Man, that thing's hot right out the gate, guys. Whew. I'm hiccuping. I'm hiccuping. Whew, that thing is hot right out the gate, man. Goes right to the stomach, starts the heat cupping right away. Whew. Okay. It does have a, a, a Tabasco type um, uh, flavor. Oh, sorry guys, I'm hiccuping from this thing. It does have a Tabasco type of uh, flavor to it. It's very nice, but it's very short lived the flavor. It kind of comes and goes a little quickly. It's not quite like a Tabasco pepper. It, it, as far as the flavor goes, it's not. The Tabasco peppers, the flavor is a little bit more prominent. Man, that thing's really got me going here. Now, the, the the as far as the heat goes, I'm not too impressed with the heat. It's hot. It's got me heat cupping. But Tabasco peppers are generally quite hot. They are very, very hot. And I, I can't go by Scovilles with Tabascos because it's kind of hard for me to judge those. And the reason why is because those things really, it's not just the heat on those things. Those things affect me in a lot of different ways. Like they just start making me uh, heat cup. They start making me sneeze right away. And it's not all because of the heat. It's just the type of capsaicin it is. It's just very potent. 
and this is kind of as far as heat wise it's kind of not as hot i'm going to tell you that right now no way tabasco pepper i might do a, a tabasco pepper review later this year tabasco pepper is very hot i almost can't even eat those things uh the way they are i have to process them and turn them into sauce or something just eat them raw like that they are very very hot this isn't this was hot though don't get me wrong it came out like a lion as soon as you started eating it and now the heat's already dissipated and um it's kind of come down now it was filled with seeds there was quite a few seeds in there and it's a little different than the tabasco pepper in a sense where tabasco peppers when they ripen the whole inside of that pepper becomes like wet and liquidy that's why they make a great sauce this quite ain't like that this kind of stayed like a with a with a placenta in the middle and it really wasn't liquidy so the outside the outside uh shell or flesh part of it stayed kind of separated and intact so with tabasco peppers the whole thing melts like on the inside as soon as you touch it it's good. the whole thing wants a good the whole it come right out of the skin and you're left with nothing but the skin you, you're not going to get really get that effect with this however i didn't let these fully fully ripen but with tabasco peppers you you normally don't let them fully ripen you just kind of well, they, when they fully ripe, when they're red on the plant, they're gush. They, they turn into gushness, you know. They're ready for Tabasco sauce. This is like a regular pepper, guys. This, it has like a, a more solid skin on the outside. It's not gushy in the middle. Seeds seem to be separated from the flesh wall very, you know, prominently. Whereas like with Tabasco peppers, it's just one big wet, mushy mess on the inside. This is very defined and separated. So, as far as the heat goes, um, I would I wouldn't say this is anywhere near as hot as a Tabasco pepper. I would say probably about half the heat. Tabasco peppers are what about sixty, eighty thousand, something like that. I, I don't remember what they are offhand. If I was to put a Scoville on this thing, about ten or twelve thousand on a Scoville, something like that. I wouldn't even say it was fifty percent of a of a Tabasco, though. The taste of it was tasted like Tabasco, and a lot of the heat effect when it came out, and it's it's like an acid. It's like dumping acid into your mouth. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it just the heat just went everywhere. It was literally sprawling all over my mouth, and so it was very instant, straight, and direct. And um, as far as the way it was affecting my tongue, everywhere it touched, it pretty much burned. It's burning the roof of my mouth a little still. It burned the whole side of my tongue where I chewed it. It went to the back of the throat a little bit, a little bit on the tonsils, and it didn't do anything to the other side. It just burned it everywhere I was chewing it. Very similar to a, a Tabasco pepper. It's just, it's a very light version. It's not really, it's not going to be as strong or as hot. But it's a nice little pepper. I definitely uh, will be growing this in the future. I, I didn't know it was a small plant, so now I'm going to have to really take into consideration um uh you know growing this plant in, in a different type of in, environment maybe grow it by the patio or in front of my house back you up here a little bit my arms getting tired and uh, you know maybe uh something like that but it is a small plant this is it's like a dwarf variety of plants so um just keep that in mind when you grow it don't grow it around other plants keep it in a pot put it on your you know your porch or a separate pot in front of your house and water it every day but it's a good pepper. I'm definitely going to be growing this next year, and I'll probably winter this one over. And uh, we'll see if we can get the production up or maybe the plant a little bigger. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow better outside. But that's it. That's your pod review for the short yellow Tabasco pepper. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.